Hello everyone, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector, your Dark Knight of Collecting, and if you watched my unboxing video the other day, you know that I'm not feeling all that great, I still am not, um, but I did want to go ahead and do the review for you guys today, so please bear with me, please bear with my voice, I do apologize. But I just couldn't wait. I wanted to show you this guy because I know that a lot of you are really waiting uh, for my review. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, I'm going to start with the base as always here. Um, the base is really well done. It is really big. Um, lots of detail here. It is all one piece, which I was kind of surprised about. Uh, because uh, a lot of the other bases, like uh, maybe Noel or Deathstroke, this front figure actually came off. But this one doesn't. Uh, there was also a little bit of controversy whenever people were first starting to get it because this flower here on the front, uh, the flower is black in the prototype. It does show kind of a purplish pink. Um, I am actually kind of glad they changed it. I think the black looks better um, because it actually seems like it fits the statue a little bit better. So that's just my opinion. Uh, lots of detail throughout. Uh, you can see kind of the grays. You can see the tan colors. Um, the gold here looks really good as well with these windows. I really like this base. I'm going to go ahead and try to spin it around for you guys here. So you can see some more of the detail here. It's kind of at an angle. It's kind of like a leaning tower of Pisa, kind of. Um, really like this base. It matches uh, the color and it matches the, um, the gold of the other bases that I have. So I'm really glad about that. This is a tall base. Um, it's very different from a lot of the other bases in that respect because a lot of them are flat and kind of wide. This one's kind of wide and tall at the same time. Uh, this one does take up a little bit more room in terms of depth because of the way it is designed. Now, I do have those dimensions for you, and I will share that with you right now. I'll kind of back up a little bit. So uh, the statue itself is 15 inches deep. So that is basically if we go from this corner right here to the corner back there, that is approximately 15 inches deep. Uh, then if we go uh, to the width, it's about 13 inches from this front corner right there uh, to the back corner back there, that's approximately 13 inches. So it'll give you kind of an idea of how wide you're gonna need. And then 33 inches tall <clears throat> with this head sculpt and about 34 inches tall with um, the top hat head sculpt and that is to the top of the heads okay so that gives you a little bit of an idea of how much space you're going to need um, yeah it is just a deeper base it's a, a little bit different than the other ones but I just feel like it's a beautiful design base I really like that they went a little bit different for this piece because I do think it makes it stand out uh, the stonework here just looks phenomenal all right so here I'm going to go ahead and just show you Scarface here uh, this is the store exclusive Scarface um, really well done. I really like him. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take him off the base here. Bear with me here. I'm going to take him so you guys can see him a little bit closer here. Um, just a really cool piece. It's really fun. Uh, the head is attached with a magnet. Uh, there is no magnet in his body, so he just kind of lays there. Uh, I probably will, probably will buy some like museum putty probably for him. Um, but I really am glad I have him because I know Prime 1 is probably not going to finish this line out. Um, they said that they could possibly, um, but I wanted as many villains as I possibly could. And of course, Ventriloquist and Scarface is one of my favorites. So I knew I had to get it directly from Prime 1 and I'm really glad I did. So that's, that's him. So let's go ahead and get to the actual Joker figure itself. Uh, I wanted to show you some of the detail here on the, uh, the spats and the uh, shoes colors going up the pants it's two tones you have this patch here everything looks a little bit brighter on camera than it does in person so everything's a little bit uh, you know more subdued but lots of great detail lots of wrinkling in the pants you can actually see you know all of the the texture here really impressive I really like it now the chain here is real this is a real chain 
So I think that's a nice touch there. It adds to some realism on him. And then here you can see the buckle and the vest itself. Again, you have that nice texturing throughout the buttons. Everything looks very real. <clears throat> now this flower itself is painted that pink color. You have the bow tie. And let me go ahead and go back a little bit here and show you the back side with those tails. Now you're going to notice here some of that stuffing coming out. I love that they did that. That's such a cool touch. Really impressive from Prime 1 there. And in the back side. Of course, this is a side you won't really see. It's got that same stuffing here along the seams. Uh, I talked to one collector and I felt so bad for him. He actually thought that that was an error and he scraped all of that stuffing off. <laughs> I just felt so bad. Um, so if you get this, don't scrape it up. It is intentional. It is meant to be on there to kind of show that his, his clothing is tattered and coming apart. So don't take that off. Um, so this hand here uh, with the, the top of the spire, uh, that is, that's the only pose you get. There is no other pose for this particular side, um, but I think it's really cool because I like that he's gripping on to the building itself. Now, as we get up here, uh, this is my favorite part of the statue by far, and this is, of course, the just absolutely stunning head sculpt here. Um, one of my favorite head sculpts I've ever seen. Uh, it is incredibly well painted. Um, I was really worried that maybe some loss in quality um, whenever we got it in hand, but it is absolutely perfect. Um, I just, I mean, just look at the detail here. It is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. This is the Mark Hamill Joker. This is the perfect animated series Joker. This is the Arkham Knight Joker. This is all of it rolled into one. And I just feel like it's absolutely perfect. Um, th this is a dream piece for me, as I mentioned. And this is why. That head sculpt right there, just phenomenal. Now, of course, this hand here is the hand pointing to his temple. Um, some people have said that it kind of, like, like mine kind of maybe points to his temple and his cheek. Some point up a little higher, some a little bit lower. I'm going to kind of show you. There is a little bit of give uh, in this. If I raise it up a little bit, like that's more of his temple. Uh, so I might put a little, like, piece of paper in there or something. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't. It doesn't really bother me at all. But I know some people it says, well, it was, it was supposed to be way up here and it's down here. I really just think it's how it fits uh, magnet-wise. So you could definitely play around with it a little bit, but uh, I'm again, I'm just really happy with the way mine looks. Um, let me show you the back side here <clears throat> so you can see some more detail of his hair. Just look at that, guys. Isn't that awesome? Just looks so good. My hat's off to the sculptors. Of course, Bernardo Cruziero, Stefferson Roca. Creative director Johnny Pham, as always, Mr. J. Just, I'm just so happy, guys. I just am so happy with this piece. It looks so well done. Um, oh, there's one other piece I forgot here. I didn't, I don't think I showed you the base here where it says in memory of the Joker. Because if you have played Arkham, you know that the Joker is, is dead. Um, that's not a spoiler. It's been out for a while now. So uh, Joker is dead, and but Joker keeps popping up throughout the game. So really this is, you know, any of the Arkham Jokers, except for Origins, of course, and Prime 1 did such a great job on that one as well. Um, but uh, just, uh, I'm just so impressed, guys. Let me back up a little bit so you can see the full statue here. All right, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all the different swap outs uh, so you can get an idea of what that looks like. All right, guys, so this is the second switch out here. This is the arm up uh, holding the gun. Now, the gun is a, or the hand and the gun, excuse me, is a separate piece that does come out like that. Um, and it just looks really cool. This is probably my second favorite pose. Um, I might switch this particular pose out quite a bit, but I did want to give you kind of a look here, if, see if you like that look a little bit better. Um, but it's really dynamic. I really like it. The gun is massive. <laughs> it's just a really big gun here. Really cool. So that's the second look. Let me show you the third look. 
All right, so here is the third look. His arm is down, and it's holding the, uh, the AR gun, the machine rifle. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but let me show you some of the detail on that gun. Looks really cool. Again, the hand and gun does pop out, but really impressive. A lot of detail. I like the blue wire there. Just a really cool gun. Uh, this, of course, again, um, is a really cool pose. I have heard of a couple of people that had uh, magnet issues where they reversed the magnets in this particular arm. Um, so it wouldn't fit together right. Uh, I had no trouble at all in mine. I know a lot of other collectors have had no issues whatsoever. So I think that that was very uh, hit or miss with just a few of the pieces. But I do think that uh, most of them are going to be just fine. Going to show you again some different angles of him. <laughs> Gosh, I'm just having so much fun looking at him. I mean, just oh, this is absolutely a favorite of mine. Possibly my favorite in my collection right now. Really cool. All right, let me show you the other head sculpt. All right, so the second head sculpt is the uh, sick Joker, and of course, if you follow the game, you know that he gets sick. He gets infected with his toxin, and I want to show you. I don't have the camera. Can you guys see those bumps on his forehead? Oh, just look how gross. It is so well done. So well done. Now, this is probably my least favorite head of the three. Uh, I more than likely will uh, do the main head most of the time. Um, but this is a really cool option. Of course, his smile is bigger here. Much more maniacal. Uh, he's gone crazy. Uh, just looks really cool. I really like it. I can see people really liking this head sculpt as well. Uh, but I do want to show you the uh, the last head sculpt. All right, so this next head sculpt is the exclusive. Now, this is the one that you're going to get whether you order from Prime One or Sideshow. Uh, this is the exclusive that you're going to get. Let me kind of back up again to show you the full effect. Now, this, of course, was from that Batgirl mission, that extra uh, extra side mission that you could purchase. Um, and, of course, he's got the top hat. He's looking really quite good. Now, I was not really interested in any of the other head sculpts when I purchased this guy. But this one is really growing on me. I think it's really well done. Again, just... A really cool sculpt. It doesn't have that maniacal laugh, but I think this one is a little bit more serious. Uh, just look at that. Just wow. Really cool. Let me show you the back side here. What he looks like with the top hat there. Kind of back up a little bit for you guys. Um, again, this is probably my second favorite of the three. It's always just so nice to be able to choose because everybody has different tastes. You know, everybody has a different uh, feel for what their character should look like. And I think a lot of people are really going to like this particular sculpt. Uh, I just think it's very well done. Nice job from Prime One. Ugh, just so much detail. All right, so I did want to show you real quick because I know you guys were interested in seeing him in the actual collection itself, uh, seeing the sizes and things like that. So uh, Joker does sit back further than most of the other figures you know most of them are at the very front of their bases so he stands back just a little bit more so i've pushed batman back a little bit and it looks really good together i think um you know joker sometimes appears a little undersized because of how scrawny he is um but i think he's really quite fine if you look at him next to scarecrow looks really good there again that purple really pops <laughs> just a tremendous amount kind of show you the others here the ones that I still have in my collection here. Give you kind of the full view here of what Joker looks like in that collection. Sorry, it's kind of hard to give you a wide shot here, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what he looks like. And uh, ugh, I just I can't, I cannot say enough good things about him. All right, guys, so my final thoughts on this piece. This piece is absolutely epic. This is, in my opinion, one of the greatest Jokers ever made by any company. Um, you know, looking back here at my Sideshow collection, that Joker back there, that's always been a favorite in my collection, and I, I absolutely love it. But it pales in comparison to this Joker, in my opinion. I feel like this is the greatest Joker that's ever been produced. I think it's phenomenal. Uh, I want to thank Johnny Pham for the art direction, and of course, Bernardo Cruziero and Stefferson Roca for their amazing work that they did on this piece, um, and lots of other artists that work on that worked on it as well. 
I just think it's absolutely phenomenal. I give this piece a 10 out of 10. Uh, it is quickly becoming a favorite in my collection, if not the the favorite piece in my collection. I'm not exactly 100% sure yet, but oh my gosh, I just absolutely love him. Now, they are coming out with a Lieber Mayho Joker as well. That will be a day one pre-order for me. Um, but I know a lot of people have said, you know, which, which Joker should I get? I think that either one of these would be great. Um, I also think the Arkham Origins Joker is very well done as well, but I just don't think it's as good as this one. Uh, I really like it, but I just prefer this version of the character more. Again, this is personal taste. Um, but again, I feel like you couldn't go wrong with either one of these Jokers. Um, if you're a Joker fan and you have the means to do so, I know not everybody has the space or the funds to, to, to make these happen, but if you do, I definitely recommend this one. I feel like this is the quintessential Joker, as I mentioned. I feel like it's phenomenal, and I am just so incredibly happy that he is part of my collection, and I hope that he can eventually become part of yours as well. Uh, Scarface, uh, again, you're going to pay a couple extra hundred dollars in shipping if you order directly from Prime One. I will put the Sideshow link down below if you're interested in ordering the exclusive. Um, again, you're still going to get all the swap outs. You're going to get all the head sculpts ordering from Sideshow. Might save you a few bucks. You just won't get um, the Scarface. So if you're not interested in Scarface, I will put that link down below. That does help the channel out tremendously. So if you use that link, thank you guys very much. Um, and just thank you guys for watching. Thank you for bearing with me today uh, with my cold. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, please consider giving a subscribe to this channel. I think you're really going to like the content and uh, the other uh, things that I talk about in the Batman world. So I just can't thank you guys enough. And if you want to take it even a step further, you can ring that uh, notification bell. That does uh, let you know anytime I post new content, and you'll be the first ones to be able to watch the stuff that I put out. So again, I just cannot thank you guys enough for all of your support. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your interest. Uh, it just absolutely means the world to me. Uh, again, this piece. 10 out of 10 from the Batman Statue Collector. Thank you, Prime One Studio. Thank you, Sideshow Collectibles. This is just an absolutely phenomenal piece, and I am just so incredibly blessed and happy that he is in my Batcave. As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave.